I was drinking and sure and, and, and drinking like chicken broth before I started the game and then didn't have insure and chicken broth once I got out there and couldn't I couldn't chew I couldn't you know I, I could try to chew with the, the, with the backs of my teeth but that really didn't work so um, I'm sitting there and in addition to that I'm taking you know like six uh, Percocet a day because I'm in lots of pain so uh, so I, basically I asked I was just like you know I was like I have four doctor notes right now that say I have to have uh, Percocet. And they're like, and Mark Burnett goes, Percocet and, and a machete? He's crazy. He can't have Percocet and a machete. So I couldn't have Percocet. Got the machete. So I get out there and, and like I, I'd been eating Percocet like right up until we started. I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and so I'm there about eight hours later. I'm just like, wow, this is what it feels like when your jaw is completely shattered and you've had four root canals and you didn't take Percocet. This is awesome. So, uh, so lots of pain there, and then uh, the you know on the second day we're sitting there, and James, the you know the big black guy with all the muscles in the world that doesn't need any additional help whatsoever in the game of Survivor, he's sitting there on the second day eating Nicorette pills. And I'm like, why do you have Nicorette? And he goes, oh, you know, I need it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I have four doctor's notes for for Percocet, but you get you get Nicorette pills. This is fair. I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Next question. I didn't have a photo shoot. Shut up. <laughs> um, I think my favorite, well, actually, is is uh, it's the same photo shoot because they uh, it was the photo shoot right after we got the makeovers, and they took me from this to ice, ice blonde in about four hours, which really it should take about two days. So I had chemical burn on my scalp. I literally had blisters and open bleeding spots on my scalp. So the next day, uh, the guy's like, oh, your hair's so gorgeous, I love it. And he's sitting there brushing my hair, teasing it, and I'm just sitting there cringing because the blisters are popping. And I don't want to complain. I'm not one to complain at all. Especially in this competition, you can't go, oh my God, like what the hell are you doing you're gonna get in trouble by tire or whatever but um that was horrific absolutely horrific i was in so much pain and uh but my photo actually came out the best out of anyone i loved the photo that i got as a result of that but it was so painful getting up to that point so it was definitely the dog walking photo shoot so it was a lot of fun next not, not everyone at once. And I know uh, one question I get all the time is, uh, how is Tyra Banks? And that's, um, I'll keep it G-rated. <laughs> the thing is, I guess uh, Tyra, she works with her parents, and she works with a bunch of catty, bitchy, women-like gay guys. There's the good gay guys, and then there's the catty, bitchy gay guys. So she was around the catty, bitchy ones. So, I mean, she had never, she hadn't had a relationship in forever. It was just working nonstop. So I could, it could have been a result from that, but when the cameras were off, she didn't, talk, she didn't talk to you, she didn't look at you. You mainly do not exist when the cameras are off and Tyra's there. So, and it, it even um, on her talk show, it was kind of like that. So I don't know if it's just because she has such a huge workload or what exactly it is, but whatever. She put me on her show and paid me, so I'm happy. Any questions? Anybody? About anything? Another question I get is, what is um, my relationship with Danny Bonaducci currently? And uh, I can say that I sued uh, Fox and I sued Danny Bonaducci, and we settled out of court for an undisclosed amount of money, which was a lot. And uh, and we, uh, the judge also ordered that Danny and I do 12 appearances over the next year, whether they be stand-up comedy, uh, television, or club appearances. So uh, so now I get the random phone calls. You know, it's like. Hey Johnny, it's Danny. And I'm like, yeah, I, I know. What are you doing? Um, wa watching football. Who's your favorite team? I, you know, Danny, it, it, it's really not important. I, I, we're, we're not that close of friends, and I, I would like not to share with you who my favorite football team is. However, how are those paid gigs coming? Let's uh, let's do some work. So yeah. 
And Danny also claims to wear one of my teeth around his neck. He bought a fake tooth and walks around with it. Uh, all four teeth are still here. Those are all me. So no, Danny does not wear my tooth around his neck as he claims. So that would be a lie, and it's not true. Next question. What's with the 80s clothes? These are not these are, this is Christian Auger. He's uh, the designer for Ed Hardy. Uh, it's very popular in the States. This jacket's probably like $600. I don't know why anyone would pay $600 for a jacket, but they do. And they, they send me clothes. But basically, I, I, what, what essentially happened was I, I was living in Los Angeles, and I was at a bar one night, and uh, we're sitting there, and I, I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Like, a lot of good things happen when I smoke cigarettes. So for all you kids out there, smoke away. It's great. Good things happen. <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. So, but uh, I, I was at a bar and I go outside to have a cigarette and uh, this gay, very, very gay guy comes up. He goes, he goes, you're the survivor guy. You're Johnny. You're the survivor guy. I'm like, yeah, what about it, faggot? <laughs> and he goes, you've been to my store. I'm Christian. I'm, just, I'm like, oh, just kidding about that whole faggot thing. <laughs> He's like, come by tomorrow. I'll give you clothes. I'm like, I know, right? So I, I, I uh, now I either go by there or, or once a month he sends us boxes of way overpriced clothes that I think are amazing and uh, and this is some of the, the proof in the pudding. So. <laughs> hey, I wasn't finished answering your question, dude. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there you go. That's what's what's the eighties clothes. Um. What was the fallout after basically you elected to vote yourself off on Fans vs. Favorites? Because obviously Jeff Crunch probably wasn't happy about having to have you brought back in the first place. Was Mark Burnett and Jeff like uh, upset? Uh, a producer lost his job <laughs> because I uh, so and uh, and one of them that was the the main producer uh, up until last year. Um, he was basically fired in this last off season, and that was one of the uh, one of the reasons leading up to it was was letting me leave. So uh, there's a rumor that Survivor 20, uh, right now in the states they're on Survivor 18. There's a rumor Survivor 20 will be the final season. Uh, it's supposedly going to be another All Star of some kind. Um, it's if it's a uh, it's a situation where the producers cast who's going to be on there, I can safely say that I will not be a part of it. Uh, if it's one of those deals where it's a fan vote, I can easily say I'll be a part of it. So, we'll see. And Rupert and I already have an alliance. Get ready. I just, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, I got a question for you. How do you respond to the critics, to you, Johnny, that say that you fight like a girl? <laughs> well, he my, does. My wife kicked my ass last night, so, <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm good at fighting. I, uh, I'm more of a lover. So I got a kid. That's proof. <laughs> I, I'm his bodyguard sometimes. So. Uh, you, you talk about shooting guns. When I shoot a gun, a horse gets pregnant. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I I I don't think I am a good fighter. So. Um, I think if you uh, YouTube uh, Johnny Fairplay versus the Badge Man, it was yesterday. You'll 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 see the proof. It's all there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here I'm, I have another video. It's gonna get another million views. Here we go. I dare you guys to watch. <laughs> Go by the, uh, what's it, what's the name of the booth? They have lots of buttons and twilight buttons what? and little keychains. It's really cool. What was it called? It's called, uh, Verboom. There you go. Verboom buttons. Yeah, it's just what it is. It is what it is. It's cool. They have Johnny Fairplay as God buttons. So, a little known fact, Johnny Fairplay as God. So, is there I hate Johnny Fairplay buttons today? Yeah, there's, some of those. there's also I hate Johnny Fairplay buttons. I need we, one of those. Yeah, my my wife my wife liked to pre-order four. <laughs> Any more questions? I got a good wrestling story for you guys. Like, do you guys uh, remember Miss, uh, the wrestler Mr. Perfect? You know. Anyway.